Welcome back my lovelies, I'm Mimi and I thought we could have a little bit of fun in today's video and we're going to do the Adopt Me Alphabet. Um, but before we get going, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications to be informed of any future videos. Now that's the begging out of the way, so let's just jump right in. We have A, and this can really only be for Adoption Island, which is basically the whole entire map of Adopt Me. The main part of the map contains all the shops and necessities you will require to complete yours or your pet's needs and earn books and grow your pets. The main map has a hospital, a pet nursery, pet shop, an accessory shop, a coffee shop, the vehicle showroom, a pizza restaurant, a toy shop, a playground, a baby shop, the hot springs, a town hall for you to collect your trading license, a farm shop, the best shop ever, a campsite, the entrance to the neon chamber where you can make neon and mega neon pets, and the tunnel to the neighborhood. B has to be for B Think, who we can find as an NPC in the toy shop. Let's see what he has to say. Welcome to my toy shop. I love to build toys. <laughs> Some people say I built this world, but that's just a rumour. The Cerberus is a three-headed dark grey hound Part of its head, along with its eyes, ears, nose and paws, are all coloured black with the exception of a light grey underbelly. Each of the three heads have a pink tongue sticking out. It came in game with the Halloween event in 2020 and has remained in the pet shop ever since. And you can purchase the Cerberus for 500 Robux. The dragon is one of the non-limited legendary pets in Adopt Me. Players can obtain it by hatching one of the permanent eggs, which include the cracked egg, the pet egg and the royal egg. Or you can also obtain it through trading. The elephant was a limited rare pet that was added to Adopt Me on July the 5th, 2019 and is now unavailable. It can only be obtained by trading or by hatching any of the remaining safari eggs. Flyer Pet Potion is a legendary potion in Adopt Me that can be purchased in the Sky Castle or from the Shop tab for 295 Robux. You can then feed this to your pet and make any pet flyable. The Giraffe is a limited pet that was added to Adopt Me on July the 5th, 2019 and it is now out of game. It can only be obtained through trading with other players or by hatching any of the remaining Safari Eggs. There are several homes available to buy for either in-game books or there are special homes available for Robux. To change your house, just go into your menu, click add now and these are the homes that are available. The ice cream parlour is a shop in Adopt Me. The shop is run by the NPC player Elsa. She says, hi, hey, welcome to my new ice cream shop. The local penguins love to hang out here. If you like a penguin of your very own, just feed them a golden goldfish. Also, look out for the golden penguin. He's very particular with what he eats. If you want some of the best ice cream in this part of town, just buy it from Archer, I mean me. <laughs> 
The Jungle Egg is a limited legendary egg in a dock me that was released on August 31st, 2019. It replaced the Safari Egg and then it was replaced by the Farm Egg. You could buy the Jungle Egg from the Gumball machine in the pet nursery. It's no longer in-game but you can obtain it through trading. The Kangaroo is a limited legendary pet which was added to Adopt Me on February 29, 2020 and is now unavailable. It can only be obtained through trading or by hatching any of the remaining Aussie eggs. There are six ways you can get legendary pets in Adopt Me. Hatching a legendary pet from an egg. Purchasing a legendary pet from the Game Pass with Robux. Purchasing an item Game Pass with Robux and luring a legendary pet which could either be the honey, it could be a clam, it could be a mud ball, it could be a golden goldfish, or it could be some heather for a ladybug. Participating in limited time events for exclusive legendary pets. There's always the option of combining lower rarity pets in an event with event toys to create an event exclusive legendary pet. This is the rare monkey, but if you added items from the fairground event to the monkey you could make different types of legendary monkeys. Mega Neons are special versions of pets in Adopt Me. They were released on April 17, 2020. Players can obtain a Mega Neon pet by combining four of the same luminous full-grown pets in the Neon Chamber. After combining these four Neon pets, players receive a colour-changing pet that cycles through various colours of the rainbow. The Neon Chamber is a place where players can make Neon Pets and Mega Neon Pets. They do this by merging four fully grown pets of the same species by placing them onto the four glowing circles around the edge of the platform, causing them to combine and become a the new pet will have glowing neon patches in different spots on their body. All Neon Pets will have their body glow in different places. The Ocean Egg is a limited legendary egg in Adopt Me. It was released on April 16, 2021 replacing the fossil egg in the gumball machine. The ocean egg was then replaced by the mythic egg on August 19, 2021. The ocean egg is no longer obtainable and can only be obtained through trading. The legendary pets that you got out of the ocean egg were a shark and an octopus. The penguin is an ultra rare pet in Adopt Me that can be obtained by buying the golden goldfish for 225 robux or through trading. When giving the golden goldfish to a penguin, there is a 1 in 10 chance of getting a golden penguin and a 9 in 10 chance of getting a normal penguin. The queen bee is a legendary pet in Adopt Me that can be obtained through purchasing honey for 199 robux or through trading. There is a 1 in 40 chance of obtaining a queen bee from the honey. The bee adoption centre is located inside the coffee shop where players can buy honey to tame a bee as well as food such as coffee and tea. Honey cannot be used anywhere else besides the coffee shop. The royal egg is a non-limited legendary egg that costs 1,450 in-game bucks and is currently the most expensive permanent egg in-game and it's only obtainable in the nursery or through trading. You have an 8% chance of hatching a legendary pet, a 30% chance of hatching a ultra rare pet, 37% chance of rare, 25% uncommon and 0% chance of hatching a common so you will never get a cat or a dog from a royal egg. So Woofington is an NPC shopkeeper in the nursery. When a player plays Adopt Me for the first time they find Sir Woofington sitting in the centre of the nursery and he will give the player a free starter egg. After the player is given the starter egg, Sir Woofington will then sit beside the royal egg in the largest building in the nursery. Let's see what Sir Woofington has to say. I can tell by the look on your face that you're confused how I can speak. Well, you see that specimen in the cheapest shop? We had an experiment done on us by birds and while there was a paradigm shift and our brains swapped. So the fella thinks he's a dog. Anyway, have a good day and make sure to buy my egg, the most premium egg in all the lands. Trading in Adopt Me can be fun and daunting at the same time. 
You can trade most items in game from pets to vehicles, pet wear and toys, but some items can't be traded, like the bees blaster and the limo you get from the VIP game pass. There are also some pets that you can't trade, like the Easter chick. There are no rules really when trading. Some pets that are out of game are worth more than in game, but it's really all down to the personal desires of the people trading. Just because a pet is worth a lot to you, doesn't mean that it will be to somebody else. There is just one thing you should never do, which is you should never, ever trust trade. This is when one player asks you to trade for your pet first in one trade, and then they will trade it back in another. This is generally just a way that someone is stealing your pet, and they will most likely leave the game once they have it. The Unicorn is a legendary pet in Adopt Me. Players can obtain it by hatching one from a non-limited egg, either from a cracked egg 350 bucks, a pet egg for 600 bucks or the royal egg for 1450 bucks. You can also obtain it through trading. It was added to the pets update as one of the first legendary pets along with the dragon. The unicorn and the dragon are currently the only legendary pets that could be hatched from non-limited eggs found in the nursery. The VIP game pass is available to buy for 499 robux. The Game Pass allows you access to the VIP room inside the nursery. You will also receive an ultra rare limo that you get to choose the colour for. The limo is yours to keep forever as it is untradeable. You will also receive a VIP chat tag and 100 bucks. There are money trees inside the VIP area, but you cannot claim any money from these trees. And then finally, there is a selection of food available. So you've got popcorn, chocolate milk, ham, and water. All of these items can be fed to your pets. The only difference being the chocolate milk turns into the water when you feed it. The Woodland Egg is a limited legendary egg in Adopt Me. It was released on March the 17th, 2022, replacing the Mythic Egg. It costs 750 in-game books, and you have a 5% chance of obtaining a legendary pet. The legendary pets are a fallow deer. The legendary pets from the Woodland Egg are a fallow deer and a hawk. Guys, I had to cheat a little bit with this, but for X, we have the Christmas Update, which is a time-limited special event in Adopt Me that they hold in winter. There's generally mini-games for you to collect gingerbread men and exchange them for specifically themed pets. There's also a Christmas Advent Calendar that you need to log in daily to claim a special reward, and then on day 25, there will be a free pet to collect on that day only. The Yeti is a limited ultra rare pet in Adopt Me that was introduced during the winter holiday event in 2020. You could purchase the Yeti for 6,000 gingerbread. As the event ended, it is now currently only obtainable through trading. And then finally we have Z, which could only be for the new in-game Zodiac Minion Egg in which you can hatch the legendary Zodiac Minion Chick. Oh my gosh guys, my brain officially hurts. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I think I might need to go for a lie down now. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye bye butterflies.